and my dad went down and talked to him. I could hear my dad talking to him outside. Can you tell her? Hold up, son. Chester, and you know I like you, and I think you're a good man. And my daughter loves you, and you love her. But you need to keep your hands to yourself. I can't have you going around hitting on my daughter. And she's about to have your baby. What kind of man you gonna be? What kind of father? What kind of parent you gonna make? And I can hear Chester saying, I know. I know you're right. He says, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I didn't mean to. I waited until my dad came upstairs and he said, baby, I'll talk to him. Felicia, it's gonna be okay. Really? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> so I gave him another chance. No worries. I was pregnant with his child. And he was good with them. But I also want to be in yours. Nah, that's it. There were no more me and you. I could tell the look on his face, he didn't care too much for that. I don't want you at my house, and I don't want you in my bed. OK. No, no. Do you understand? And he just looked at me, and he told my dad, OK, all right. And my dad told him, I mean it. And he said, yes, sir. I got it. It was 2004. It was a rainy day. <sighs> hey, Daddy. Hey, baby. Did you hear about Chester? Hear what? It's all over the news. I was like, Daddy, what you talking about? What you mean? He said, you don't know. And he said, he killed those women. Excuse me? You went and got the paper. It's at the top. And it stated that he had been accused of rape and murder of a few women.